so I have been watching um, some videos about rapture dreams and um, I had a dream that was a lot more vivid and memorable than dreams that I've had and I do dream but it's not often that they are incredibly memorable and I remember a lot of the details and um, just to very fine details that I remember them. Um, but this one, especially because I had actually seen a video from a girl whose dream was very similar to mine, and when I was listening to her dream, I got goosebumps because I was like, oh, that's just like my dream. And so it was almost like a confirmation that, whoa, maybe my dream was more than just out of my own head and consciousness, whatever. So. I'll go into the dream, it's pretty short. There was two parts to it. And the first part, um, it was almost as if I had not made the rapture. And so, um, it was very much, um, you could tell it was a fight for survival. Um, you had to be really careful about when you left your house I remember in my dream it was not really safe to be on the main roads, and I was, for some reason, I guess I made poor decisions, but um, people would definitely steal from you or kill if they needed to, so um, I just remember it was, it was not an easy thing to get by. You had to be very discreet. Um, very secretive about where you were going, why. So that's that's pretty much the only thing I remember from that dream. Um, and then the second part of that dream, and the same night, it was as if I had made the rapture. And the only thing I remember was being pulled out of the earth. And see, so I was in the black of space, and I could see the earth beneath me. And I was watching the entire earth go black, missing power, or losing power, basically. So it was nighttime where I was seeing the earth from, and I was watching lights go out, like each continent at a time, just black. And I just remember thinking, I made it. Thank goodness I made it, because you do not want to be there right now. It's interesting that I've had both parts of the rapture in my dreams because part of me and my soul can't wait to see Jesus and then another part of me is terrified of being deceived into thinking that I know him. Like I, I want so badly, so deeply to know him intimately and I'm just like this tiny fraction of me is really scared that I'm faking myself and I'm psyching myself out. But at the same time, in my soul I realize what a time to be alive. If I were deceived a little thinking that I knew Jesus intimately. If I were deceived and I just so happened to miss the rapture, I'd have something to fight for. Obviously, if the rapture happens, you know, like, wow, yeah, that just happened. I missed the rapture. I thought I knew Jesus, and I didn't. I thought I was following him, and I was a fraud. Um, I mean, in that moment, you have to you have to prove yourself. If you live to the rapture and you don't make it, you have, in that moment, you have no other choice but to prove yourself, to prove your faith. And blessed is he who doesn't see and believes, um, but for those who may be left behind, 
you get a second chance that most people who died before you don't get. Um, and you get to fight. I would fight to the death for Jesus' name if I was left behind.